Ever heard of calcium ATPase? Yeah, not many people have, which is strange because it's kind of a superhero in your body. I mean, it doesn't leap tall buildings in a single bound or anything, but it does have a very important job in your body. It actually works more like a pump. It maintains your body's balance and keeps it healthy to begin with. Most of the calcium in your body is in your bones and teeth, but some of the most important work that calcium does is inside your cells. It moves across membranes, allowing muscles to contract, your heart to pump efficiently, your brain and neurons to fire, your arteries to relax, basically stuff you need to do to be alive. And calcium ATPase is an enzyme that moves calcium back where it belongs, so your body can keep doing those things in an efficient way. But sometimes people don't have enough calcium ATPase functioning to do the job. Then things start to go wrong. And there are some nefarious villains that destroy calcium ATPase. Things like certain chemicals in foods, additives, high blood sugar, and certain metals and pesticides can inhibit calcium ATPase and keep it from doing its job. If you just encounter one or two of these now and then, it's probably no big deal. But if most of what you eat and drink has high levels of these inhibitors, look out. Your calcium ATPase may not be able to do its job. For growing kids, having functioning levels of calcium ATPase is important for neurological development and brain function. As we age, our levels of calcium ATPase diminish, so we need to be extra careful to preserve what we have. By the way, if you exercise and reduce stress, you can improve the functioning of your calcium ATPase. As you're deciding which healthy choices to make for yourself and your family, consider avoiding the foods and chemicals that can damage this vital component of good health.